Winston Lake represents a link, if you will, from the past to the present and even the future by having captured, like no one else, the end of an industrial era. He, amongst few other photographers in the 20th century, understood that what was passing was something that was beautiful, artful, but also very common and prosaic for many small communities, particularly on the Norfolk and Western Line, who were used to seeing steam railroads running on a regular basis. And that came to an end, of course, sensing that and realizing its value is, is the visual beauty that was inherent in this kind of locomotion and its impact on the community surrounding it. Created a wonderful series of uh, studies photography that depicted not only the trains themselves and the strength and power and mystery of it, if you will, there was a very atmospheric quality to steam locomotive travel that was intriguing to me. But more than that, the way it affected people and communities and the society around these trains would never again be the same. These people were destined to change. Link understood that, and he captured it like no other photographer in that era, and like very few photographers have ever attempted to capture an era of change in the entire 20th century, or the history of photography for that matter. O. Winston Link created a special edition of his photographs as a gift to his son. 57 in number, they were all personally printed and signed by O. Winston Link. It's going to be displayed in Owasso, Michigan, which is a historic railroad town. Although the Norfolk and Western didn't run here, three of the great Midwest American railroads ran here, the Ann Arbor Railroad, the Grand Trunk Railroad, and the New York Central. So this has been a railroad time, town for a long time. A premier gallery in Owasso, Michigan has actually undergone a facelift and has been redesignated for this special exhibition during the train festival in Owasso. 23rd through the 26th of July, but uh, it will open actually a little earlier than that. It'll be the first time this portfolio has ever been shown anywhere in the world, so it's a rather exciting and historic time.